You know, is there really even uh, a, a reason to play the season? Um, it, it looks like everybody's just got it all figured out. They've just got it all mapped out how everything's going to go. Uh, and we should just uh, not even let toe meet leather this year uh, for three-fourths of the teams in college football because our goose is cooked, obviously, before uh, it's even been put in the damn oven. What's up, guys? Carolina Jack Hot Time coming at you on Monday evening. Uh, I want to get into something that's kind of kind of needled me a little bit uh, the past couple of weeks. I've, I've listened to it and listened to it. And the more and more I've listened to it, the hotter and hotter I've got. And the more and more it's peckered me off. And I'm finally about ready to say something about it. I've watched a lot of YouTubers. A lot of them. Uh, a lot of uh, podcasters. Uh, a lot of people just in sports media in general. Uh, who are giving their predictions. Win-loss predictions for teams. Uh, predictions on games and how things are going to go. How seasons are going to go. And... One in particular is really chapping my rear end, and that's that South Carolina Clemson, or that South Carolina Tennessee game on September the 30th. Every one, every prediction I hear, it's the same old thing. This one's gonna get ugly in a hurry. Josh Hopple's out for revenge. Uh, Tennessee might beat South Carolina by 50. All these people sit here and they'll spew this. None of them provide a valid football reason for why that's going to happen. They don't say, well, you know, South Carolina's lost a lot off the back end of their defense, so Tennessee can probably expose that. Or, uh, you know, I think South Carolina may have uh, trouble generating some pass rush on Joe Milton. Or I think South Carolina might not be able to tackle Jabari Smalls. Nothing. We don't We don't have any of that. It's, it's just... It's a revenge game. Uh, they beat them bad last year. Tennessee's going to return the favor uh, times two. It's just comical. It's very backwards thinking. It's very uh, unimaginative uh, prediction making. And it's failure to step out of the box. Okay? First of all, don't you think that uh, if South Carolina put that many points on them last year, that they might be capable of putting some points on them again. You think Tennessee shortened their defense up that much in a year? I, I kind of don't think so. Kind of don't think so. Especially when you take into account South Carolina is bringing back a large amount of the key pieces off that offense. Yes, we lose a Jaheim Bell. But we bring in Trey Knox from Arkansas, and I think he's going to be a serviceable replacement. I think Trey Knox is more of a pure tight end. Uh, I think he's got a longer frame, a bigger body, a better body, better looking body. I'm just kidding. Um, and then to carry on Joyner, looks like he's going to be replacing Marshawn Lloyd at running back. I mean, to carry on Joyner hadn't spent half his career on the shelf. I'm sorry, I, I said it, I, I went on ahead and said it. There's a little inherent toughness there, and I think that could be addition by subtraction. I kind of hate the loss of Jordan Birch on the edge. He was getting better, he was playing better, uh, but the stats just haven't been there for the past three years. I think the kid from Syracuse that South Carolina's bringing in is gonna be a formidable edge rusher. I think that getting the linebacker Mo Kaba back and the Defensive end, Jordan Strayan, Strawn, Strachan, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, back. As long as these guys are healthy, coming back from those ACL tears, they're going to be a huge benefit to that defense. South Carolina is not going to be uh, the, old, uh, the old class hobag uh, who sits uh, around and then lays back spreads her legs wide open on prom night and Tennessee and Josh Heupel are the uh, senior class and they're just going to come get them some out at time after time after time. That's not going to happen. Uh, and it's very uh, uh, backwards thinking and you're not showing a lot of football intelligence when you are uh, sitting here making these kind of predictions. You're just not. Uh, I have not made a prediction on that game. I haven't done my prediction video on the Gamecocks. 
So you don't know which way I'm going to go on it. You don't know which way I'm going to go on it. I will say this. I don't think the matchup favors South Carolina. It's a road game. Uh, it's a hostile environment. And it's a really good team they're playing. I don't think it favors them. But I'm not going to give you my official prediction on it. Not right now. I'm going to make you watch that video. But uh, get your minds out of the gutter. Stop thinking that South Carolina is just going to show up and get blown out. Because that's not going to happen. Uh, this series has been pretty hotly contested for the past 10 years or so. The past couple of years, the games have been blowouts. 2021, Tennessee blew us out. 2022, we blew Tennessee out. I think you're going to stop seeing blowouts, and I think you're going to go back to seeing good competitive games 22. Now, they're not going to play in 2024, which I, you know, I kind of don't like. You know, I, I like playing the Vols every year uh, just because beating them uh, is just, I don't know, it, it, it's like it's like biting into an extra sweet peach. It just hits a little bit different, you know what I mean, when we're able to knock them off. And, you know, with the, the loud mouth, uh, delusional fan base they have, uh, sitting around bumping their gums 24-7 on the internet, bumping their gums 24-7 around the around the water cooler at work. Well, I mean, I guess most of them go to the watering trough. Uh, it, it, it's, it's satisfying uh, to get a win over them. But that's all I got to say about it. Stop thinking that South Carolina is going to show up just to get blown out on September the 30th because you got another thing coming. I'll see you guys later on. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed it, please. And subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. I will see you guys later. Appreciate it. Peace. And I'm out of here. And uh, go Gamecocks. Ah, ah, ah. Woo.